Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. We're back to late Renaissance fashion again. Today's sketch is about the fartingale. I'll start this video with a little disclaimer. I'm not entirely sure of which word I should pick to refer to this garment. I've seen both fartingale and vartingale in books about the subject, together with more words closer to the original Spanish name. Fartingale does appear more often, so I think I'll go with that one, but I may switch them up as this goes on. They all derive from the Spanish word vertugado, which refers to green twigs, which were one of the main elements of this piece. The fartingale was a set of wooden, reed or whalebone hoops, worn under or sewn into a skirt. The earliest references to this style of dress come from an historian by the name of Palencia, who, writing about Joana of Portugal, Queen of Castile, thought she wore the creation to hide a pregnancy. There is no proof of this, but the fashion spread quickly, and it was copied by the Queen's Lady and adopted by Queen Isabel of Portugal. When it was introduced into Italy, in 1498, it was immediately banned and in many towns abandoned altogether. But when the Spanish princess Catherine of Aragon brought this fashion to England in 1501, it was an instant sensation. This style was very expensive due to the huge amounts of fabric needed to make a full skirt, but later women of all social classes ended up wearing it. At first, the hoops were visible, but in later fashions they became an inner layer of the skirt. Sitting while wearing a fartingale would be tricky due to the size of the skirt compared to the size of a normal chair. Because of that, ladies would usually sit in cushions surrounded by their voluminous skirts. A later version, the French fartingale, was even wider and had a more cylindrical shape that reminded a drum and it's sometimes referred as drum skirt. The Vartingale would reign over English fashion for over a century, growing larger during the reign of Queen Elizabeth I until, you guessed it, collapsed in favor of a softer silhouette. However, the Vartingale would come back in a different way many years later. But that's the subject of my next video. Meanwhile, I'd love to hear your thoughts about this style. Would you like to try it or would you prefer to stay away from such a voluminous skirt? Let me know in the comments and thank you so much for watching.